Hey y'all, I'm out here. Good morning, welcome to Our Grey House Vlogs. I'm Lisa and my husband Marvin is inside there. We're meeting with the builder today to discuss cabinets. Um, they've drawn up the cabinet plans and we're just gonna, I guess, ver verify the cabinet plans. Wow. Yep, that, that's my husband. Okay, so I'm out here at the house and as you can see, stuff is happening. I just had a meeting with the builder, or Marvin and I, Marvin over there, had a meeting with the builder and we talked over the cabinet selections that we've made and uh, any changes. There was like one change or two changes, but nothing nothing major. So, um, oh, you don't want to be in the video now. Yeah. So what do you think, babe? <coughs> Project, whatever that was, yeah. the insulation and stuff. So every day is a new experience. Yeah. So we've seen them put up the siding, and I'll show you a little bit more right now. Um, and I'll also show you the sheetrock's going up. Come in third. the ceiling or up high they have these stilt things that they walk on all right babe what you doing definitely something we wanted to share with our viewers Did you dump, dump around? well they see a dump spot and they take advantage of it so, so today I'm back at the office um, I'm gonna stop by at the house in a little bit after my appointments probably because uh, I want to show you guys the siding and how much they've gotten done. Um, saw a little bit of it yesterday. Took a little shot of it today, but I'll show you what they've done. And got an appointment at 11:30 to show a house. It's a rent house, and my client just texted and wants to see that house that we saw on last Saturday they want to see it again this Saturday but they're gonna bring their parents with them or her parents with them so that's good that's a positive sign and I need to get cat food and I need to stop by Sherman Williams and start picking up paint colors because it's getting real just showed house and not even 15 seconds in maybe 10 seconds in she's like I don't like it because it didn't have a formal dining room which is okay because hey this lady knows what she wants now we're moving on to the next one. I'm at Starbucks though. I'm gonna get me a hot chocolate and then I'm going to PetSmart to get cat food. Hello, PetSmart. We meet again. Looking for cat food. We still feed him kitten food because he's only, let's see, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Actually, he's, Eight months, in a few days, he'll be eight months old. And I may or may not be buying some new cat toys. Cat food is purchased and I bought him a couple toys because, because I can. And he'll probably love them. I'll show you. So I got him, hang on one second. Okay, so I got him these. And it's like these little fuzzy balls. Um, and he likes the one, he has this one 
that has like, I'd say it's like tinsel on it. But anyway, this is like fuzzy material. I'm not sure. And then I got on some ones, can you hear? Crinkles inside. I don't know if they'll like them or not. And I got him a softball. So these don't make noise. Like we have some ones that have bells inside. Yeah. Don't play with those at night. But he likes the one actually that I got from, I want to say Dollar General. Dollar General for like $3. So, um, yeah, those are his favorite. I bought extra one of the last times I was at that Dollar General that had them. And um, so that way I'll always have his favorite blue ball. So that didn't sound right. But anyway. I'll, I'll have the, his favorite chores. So now I'm headed back to the office. I got a hot chocolate in my car because it just stopped at Starbucks. And I don't think I have anything else planned for today. So that's awesome. I mean, besides getting stuff done at the office, you know. Part of the process of building a new house is picking out like all the things, the colors, the fixtures, the appliances, the cabinets. And so today we're having an impromptu stop at Sherwin-Williams which I often call Sherman Williams, and that's not correct, to pick out some paint colors. And yeah, should be fun. We just went to Sherwin Williams and picked out some paint colors, and I'll show you for the trim, we're doing extra white. Probably for all the trim and all inside and out perhaps. For the front door, I think we're gonna go with green and black. We're still deciding. And then the outside of the house is going to be summit gray. Inside of the house is going to be either repost gray or mindful gray. I don't know if it's looking gray. It probably looks white on here. But let's see if I have repost gray. Interestingly enough, um, repose there's one called Ellie I got that for Ellie and uh, I don't see it Hold on. this is repose gray and it's what we already have in our front bathroom right now so we know we like it so that color but enter let me show you guys so we were looking at the cards like to figure out what colors and Marvin likes the doors the color of the doors Marvin there you know We've eaten dinner, and now we're trying to make a super quick stop at Lowe's. Marvin's tired, I'm tired, it's cold. We need to get some towel selections. So we're out shopping at Lowe's tonight. Out shopping at Lowe's, and uh, I'll say he's gonna do my thing, looking for towel. He's gonna make fun of me now. There she is. Oh, she's filming. I'm looking at you, looking at me. Do you, do you, I mean, what is this? Why do I have to deal with this? I'm, we're the vlog, I'm the vlogger, we're the vloggers, and he's trying to do his own thing. Like trying to, he probably wants his own channel. It's a light gray, but on the camera, it's looking a lot lighter. So of course we want a gray color. Not too much browns, not too much, um, warm tones more cool grays and uh so yeah gotta look for carpet gotta look for towel gotta look for pictures gotta look for handles and knobs and drawer pulls and stuff paint you don't like this one yeah kind of like, i mean i kind of like and i kind of like the other one better actually but we are finding that things are cheaper at floor and decor we did see some carpet we liked so that's good but um, does floor and decor have carpet, honey? Maybe. I didn't notice it. Maybe it does, so we just didn't know. So we might have to check out that too, but at least we came here to see what the prices were. And we saw some carpet we did kind of like, so that helps us narrow stuff down faster, at least. And kind of rule out some things that we don't care for. But I don't know what kind of tile goes in the bottom of a shower. So, we'll have to figure that out too. Here's what the house looks like at night. We're right across from 
a bank drive through so pretty good lights. This is the garage. This one is what? That's your closet, your utility closet for the outside. That's the water heater back there. This is the back door. Almost all of the... That's our covered porch back here, our backyard porch. So this is Marvin's side of the garage. And when you come into the house from the garage, this is the little powder room half bath. And it's gonna have a little cabinet right there. This is the mud bench area. It's nice and big. This goes into the house. This is a little utility closet for us to put like the vacuum cleaner and such. And then this is the main part of the house. This is, we're having a hutch built in right there in that area. And this is the dining room area. That goes out to the back porch. This is our main living space. The microwave oven and single oven is going to go here in the cooktop. And straight ahead there is the refrigerator. And then right there where they haven't finished drywalling is where the cabinets go. Four on top have glass fronts and then the four on the bottom are regular. This is the island. Marvin's almost stepping on my island. This goes back to my office and our guest bedroom. So this is the pantry. It's a walk-in pantry area. This is the guest bedroom and then we have a we have a Jack and Jill bathroom area. Go ahead. He's filming too. The vanity for this bedroom, the closet for this bedroom, all drywalled in. This is the restroom and tub area. And then this is where the cat boxes are gonna get. We have one cat right now, might get another, who knows. Here's the vanity for this room, for my office. And this is my office area. Looks like somebody broke down out front. Hmm. And that goes back into rest of the house. That's the closet for my office. It's really pretty big, but I'm wanting to put, I'm wanting to put all my stuff inside the closet and have as little out as possible. Again, that's the guest bedroom, pantry, going back into the living room area. We'll have cabinets right here again. I have my arch over the doorway. I love it. I think it looks, makes the entrance look really nice. Over on this wall, we're just gonna put like a little entryway table. And then here's our coat closet. I love it. It's awesome. It's so awesome. And back this way, here's our fireplace. It doesn't have a mantle or anything yet, of course, but at least they drywalled. Now Marvin's heading into our master bedroom. It's a wonderful size. I love it. And then this is the master bath. Huge vanity on this side, double vanity. Restroom goes in here. This is our huge shower. I want to say it's like five by five or something like that. Yeah. There's a draft right here. It's cold right here, I don't know why. This is our closet, the master closet. We're probably gonna put, <laughs> yeah, it is big. We're gonna put uh, 
clothes rods on this side. There's going to be a focus. There's going to be a chest of drawers here, a chest of drawers here, and this is a pocket door that goes into the laundry room. We have a cabinet right here, dryer, washer. There's going to be cabinets above. There's going to be a rod right there. And then this is our extra closet. And shoes will be right here. A shoes. And then we're going to put a clothes rod for our off season clothing. And then this leads, of course, back out into the main part of the house. So you can access the laundry room either from our master bathroom or the main part of the house. So now we're going to go out our front door. Are we locked in? <laughs> and this is our wonderfully big front porch. One of my dream things that I wanted for the house. Looks really good. Okay, I was just talking to Anna Sarah and Catherine on Marco Polo and um, like I said, I was talking to Anna Sarah and Catherine on Marco Polo and I realized I've been blogging all of October, all of November, all of December and part of January or well every day in January so far and it's 102 days. So like two days ago, I should have done like a 100 day celebration or something. Okay, you know how like when you're in elementary school or like especially I think kindergarten does this? Kindergarten? How do you spell that? Kindergarten. Anyway, you know how in kindergarten they do the 100 day celebration and then like the kids are supposed to dress up like old people or something because of 100 days and they do 100 day things like 100 gumballs, 100 pieces of construction paper and stuff like that so maybe we should have done something like or should have bought those balloons you know the one zero zero balloons like that everybody does want to get a million subscribers and stuff like that except I would just do it because it's the hundredth day I've been vlogging I mean I could still do it for 103 days maybe I will maybe I won't but anyway I'm gonna say good night thank you guys so much for watching please share please like please subscribe because then I'll get a hundred, I'll, I'll get a million subscribers. Okay, good night. Bye.